Some people say it's the end of life as we know it, a great battle for souls between creator and dark forces. Armageddon, a word that might make your blood run cold, but is it really true? And if it is, have we reached the end times? <laughs> Hi, I'm Deborah Lupien, voice of the Akashic Records, bringing you a message from the angels about Armageddon. Close your eyes for a moment. Take a couple of deep breaths. Now, in your mind's eye, imagine shimmering ice blue icicles. Perfectly beautiful, with tiny droplets of water at their tips. They've had their day in the sun, and now their life drips steadily away until at last there'll be no more. Transitions from one state to another. Perfectly natural and in alignment with the grand order of the cosmos. When at last they are no more, do you mourn their passing? Of course not, because you understand it is the way of things. Truth be told, you're not at all attached to icicles. You take no more notice of them than you do of grass growing or the incoming tide. They're not personal. Just another cycle, ceaselessly repeating. Why then concern yourself with the day when everything ceases? Armageddon, a big scary word that strikes terror in the hearts of many. But what if it's not true? What makes so many convinced that there will be such a day? When you think about it, what would be the point in ending everything brought forth from the Creator? Where's the logic in that? We assure you, from our perspective, there is no end in sight, just one huge cycle that continues on, changing in breadth and scope. It's circular. Have you not noticed that circles have no end? We say to those who are petrified about the future, it would be wise to stop putting your life on hold because you believe the end is near. That is a sure way to have a less than spectacular life experience. Decidedly not what you intended when you came forth into this incarnation. Where's the fun in that? Where are the juicy challenges that excite and spur you on to even more magnificent achievements? You will miss so very much if you remain in a holding pattern. Life is about the here and now. Going for the gusto. Sucking up every last bit of juiciness like a ripe orange. That is what your soul intended. Ego will tell you that you must do things the hard way. There's pride in overcoming adversity. Of course, you're always free to choose whatever you like, but why not choose the most delightful, intriguing, easy option? You'll get no brownie points for doing things the hard way. Never forget, life is about living, and your angels will support you in creating a gloriously expansive life experience. Fill your tank with joy. Raise your consciousness another notch or two for even more peace and joy. That's what your soul intended. Not all this nonsense that fills your heart with fear and dread. We say that is all man-made with the intention of derailing your spiritual growth. But you, dear one, have grander plans. So lean into them and soar. That's the way to maximize your plans for this lifetime. We, your team, are cheering you on all the way. After channeling this message, I was inspired to seek out the original meaning of Armageddon. There are many words in modern spiritual texts that have strayed far from the original translation. Because this word holds so much emotional charge, it behooves us to find out what we're really dealing with. In researching Armageddon, I found several theories, but this is the definition I was guided to. Mountain or elevation. Metatron is long told of the cosmic wave of transformation, the next evolutionary phase of humanity. You may have heard it referred to as the Great Shift. No matter what you call it, all refer to an up-leveling from our present third-dimensional reality. The ultimate consciousness raising. My understanding is that our vibrational frequency will rise, 
causing our physical self to then vibrate at the level of the fourth dimension. At the same time, Earth, Gaia, is experiencing a rebirthing from which she'll emerge with her own fourth dimensional vibration. If Armageddon translates to mountain or elevation, that means your experience will be somewhat like climbing a mountain to reach a higher energetic elevation. Ascending a metaphorical mountain to reach fourth dimensional reality, not the terrifying destruction of the world as we know it. Instead, an exciting new world where peace and love will rule the day. Metatron calls it Earthtopia. Now doesn't that sound a whole lot better? No more will the specter of Armageddon hang over you like a desiccated vampire, filling you with fear and draining away your vitality. It's time to put away those old boogeyman stories as you step into the destiny you planned for this lifetime. Remember, you're a magnificent light worker, a warrior for Metatron, committed to using your unique wisdom and gifts to facilitate the prophecy of Earthtopia, which is the new golden age of humanity. And the angels sang, Oh, happy day. Thank you for watching. This is Deborah Lupien, Voice of the Akashic Records. Till next time. Bye.